Hello guys, thank you so much for joining us for our discussion today. I am Simon and I'll be taking you through the Calgic Procurement Portfolio Matrix. By the end of this discussion, you will be able to categorize products in your organization, how to choose the best supplier, and also employ the best supplier relationship strategy. The Calgic Procurement Portfolio Matrix is made up of four quadrants. In each of these quadrants are items, different items in any organization. Now, for our case, we'll be using an example of a fruit juice company. What are the items that this company could have? The, the items could be the non-critical items, all the routine items. We have the bottleneck items. We have the leverage items and the strategic items. Now, these items will be measured against how easy it is or how hard it is to source these items from the market, which is on the y-axis, the complexity of the supply market or supply risk. Again, it's the importance of the item or profit impact to the organization. Is it low or is it high? Good, let us start our discussion with the first item, the non-critical item or routine items. Now, the non-critical items or routine items, these are items that have a low importance or profit impact on the organization and their supply risk is actually very low. These items are in abundant supply and can easily be got. There are many suppliers who are producing or are supplying these products. For example, in a fruit juice company, we'll have stationery who need to record uh, items that are coming in and items that are leaving the company. We'll need catering services, transport services. So some of the supplies are easily got. So what are the strategies and relationship approaches that one can use? We have the arm's length, the transactional approach. One, you don't need to spend a lot in maintaining the suppliers of these items because they are easily good. And hence, this will help minimize the costs of the company. One can use the call of orders under pre-negotiated terms and conditions with the supplier in case the item runs out, a call of order is made and the items are delivered. Use of e-procurement, ordering online, for example, Amazon, Alibaba, Jumia, Uber. Some of, these, some of these services such as food, catering services can be got online, and therefore reducing the spend of the organization. The next one is the bottleneck items. These are products that, are, that have a high supply risk while having minimum or low profit cost impact to the organization. Now, these products are operational based. They're difficult to source. However, they are very useful in the operations of a company. We shall use on our example of the fruit juice company. We have examples of proprietary spare parts and lubricating oil. When a machine breaks down, a particular spare part may be needed. And if this spare part is difficult to obtain, then it will lead to a delay or breakdown in operations. That means no more produce, no more producing fruit juice. So, these items may have a low profit impact, may not bring a lot of profit to the organization. However, also, its supply risk, market supply, it's difficult to obtain. Some of them may be shipped from abroad and may take days to reach. 
Therefore, what strategies and relationship approaches may be needed? Maintaining a buffer stock, stocking these items, all these parts that are critical, so that when one is when one is broken, another can easily be got to maintain and continue living supply. You can also negotiate medium term contracts with the suppliers so that after every time period of time, it can always be delivered to the organization every specific period of time. Then you can have alternative backup suppliers, suppliers who are ready to deliver in case a supplier's stock has been used up. Our next one is the leverage items. These are items that have a high profit or cost impact to the organization. However, their supply risk is actually very low. These are items that are abundant in supply and are very important to the organization. So what, does, what, what can the organization do? The organization can ensure the best prices and terms and conditions for every purchase. Why? Because the suppliers are many. Can, the, the products can easily be good. For example, wrapping materials can easily be delivered. However, it brings better wrapping materials will mean higher revenues because a better wrapping material attracts more customers, hence increasing in the sales. So what strategies and relationship approaches can be used here? Multiple sourcing, getting from many sources of supply so that you can be able to get the best prices and terms and conditions. Competitive bidding and using a less costly, uh, less costly method transactional basis approach. Now our last one is the strategic items. These are of very high profit impact to the organization and the supply risks are actually very high. They bring more profits to the organization and also obtaining them is very high. These have actually a natural base scarcity. It's difficult to obtain. For example, in our food juice company, quality fruits and vegetables specific to produce a specific flavor that will keep the company company at the top may be difficult to obtain. Specific ingredients to give specific flavors could be difficult to obtain. So what are the strategies and relationship approaches that can be employed developing long-term mutual beneficial relationships? Supplier development, financing the, supply, the, the suppliers, training the suppliers. One can also have a system integration that can be able to bring the two systems of the supplier and the organization together. Systems of monitoring stock, communication systems. So that when an item is done, it can always be replenished at all times. Well, that brings us to the end of our discussion. Thank you so much for joining us, team, and we are very happy to be with you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also continue to like us. Thank you.